chapter 25. O Lord, I will honor and praise your name, for you are my God. You do such wonderful things. You planned them long ago, and now you have accomplished them. You turn mighty cities into heaps of ruins. Cities with strong walls are turned to rubble. Beautiful palaces and distant lands disappear and will never be rebuilt. Therefore, strong nations will declare your glory. Ruthless nations will revere you. But to the poor, O Lord, you are a refuge from the storm. To the needy in distress, you are a shelter from the rain and the heat. For the oppressive acts of ruthless people are like a storm beating against a wall, or like the relentless heat of the desert. But you silence the roar of foreign nations. You cool the land with the shade of a cloud. So the boastful songs of ruthless people are still in Jerusalem. The Lord Almighty will spread a wonderful feast for everyone around the world. It will be a delicious feast of good food, with clear, well-aged wine and choice beef. In that day He will remove the cloud of gloom, the shadow of death that hangs over the earth. He will swallow up death forever. The Sovereign Lord will wipe away all tears. He will remove forever all insults and mockery against His land and people. The Lord has spoken. In that day the people will proclaim, This is our God. We trusted in Him, and He saved us. This is the Lord in whom we trusted. Let us rejoice in the salvation He brings, for the Lord's good hand will rest on Jerusalem. Moab will be crushed like trampled straw and left to rot. God will push down Moab's people as a swimmer pushes down water with his hands. He will end their pride and all their evil works. The high walls of Moab will be demolished and ground to dust.